I'll actually leave with my risk so I can end on a positive. Um, yeah, similarly, I, I do see potential for a sort of concerning future, I suppose, where if we have such over-reliance on AI that we have very little human involvement in the process at all. So if we have the AI sort of designs the study, AI writes the study, a different AI then maybe does like the legwork, the huge amount of the review process, and then post-publication, AI is already summarizing that literature for the readers. And so without knowing it, you know, you can get this process where there's very little human involvement at all. And I think the risk there is that any inaccuracies or misinformation or errors that creep in, they could really spread unchecked. And the real world harm in that is that we're getting this low evidence decision making because we're adding scientific weight to something that, you know, didn't have that human oversight. And all of that will erode trust over time in that scientific process. And I think on one hand, that might seem quite of an extreme version that we'd have that happen with, you know, so such little human oversight, but it's more the, the sort of creep effect that I worry about. I think there's already AI that's being used in the mainstream. And if we're too slow with enforcing that transparency and accountability and policy that, you know, the, uh, the other panelists have already mentioned, then we'll get this sort of gradual pollution of papers that we're seeing and we'll have that feet of clay situation again, where by the time we see issues and errors, it's only the tip of the iceberg. And I think that's very similar to what we've seen with the proliferation of paper mill content is that we didn't get safeguards in quick enough and then we're starting to see that pollution of the literature. So I think there's the trust aspect that really needs to be most important. And then on the flip side, for the opportunity, if it's done really well, I think uh, we could see a world where AI and humans, you know, really work really well together. We have an AI role that is really clear. It's sort of helping with scalability and that pattern recognition, which which humans are not necessarily always good at. Um, and then we have that equal weight on the human role where we're not using AI as a shortcut, but we're seeing it for, you know, supporting our decision making, freeing up time for critical judgment. We're, we're applying our own guardrails to the AI um, and it's adding context. So then we'll have the positive outcome that we're talking about where we've got a really global and fair continuous peer review process that's, you know, stronger. And then that AI stamp is a bit more about the trust. You know, we're we're happy that this was AI checked and supported by AI. We're not thinking, oh, what does that mean? Does that mean it was like less, less, less high quality, essentially? So <laughs>